This backyard dog exercise uh, provided an excellent opportunity to do two catchers back to back. On my first effort, though, I was too late in my turn and uh, Willie went the wrong way. I just start from the jump and that time my timing was much better so I reward him. And here's a frame by frame or slow motion comparison of the two. And the biggest thing is in the successful attempt i am started my turn well before Willie gets to the bar. Now to try the whole thing. Oh, and once again, I'm way too late with my turn and I'm facing the tunnel and Willie turns that way. This time, my turn is better and we turn, Willie turns in the correct direction and we're able to complete the whole exercise. And I was very pleased with his uh, response to the rear cross on that last jump. However, I forget forgot to desell for the table. This time I'm going to try this with front crosses. First one's not too bad, but the second one is way too long. This time uh, Willie does a much better job of heeding my deceleration cues for the front cross. So now we're going to try the whole course and see how it goes. That one's not too bad. That one is still too long. So I'll try this one more time. Decel. Yeah! Better. And we'll go on to complete the course. Here is a slow motion comparison using two front crosses and two catchers. And I was very surprised that the catcher, the two catchers proved to be faster, especially since wrapping uh, to the right at the second jump produces is a shorter line. However, wrapping left at that jump, um, although the line is longer, it is slightly more efficient in producing the arc to the tunnel.